Hey there, are you thinking about releasing an Electron app? Awesome. Let's take a look at how one works on the fastest Mac Apple has ever released, the M1 MacBook Pro. Down here we have Spotify. Now it's March 2021. This app is hot off the presses today with a big blog post release about how it's redesigned and much better and streamlined. Let's just launch it. We'll spend some time staring at this black box here, and then we'll stare at these gray placeholder icons because this app is so god-awful slow, it can't even load basic UI icons in under five to six seconds. All right, but the launch is over, right? You know, like now, surely it's going to be better. How many times are we going to launch the app? Let's just resize the window. Real basic thing. Look at this. Look at how the content shears. We have these ugly black boxes around the sides while the drawing tries to keep up with what we're doing with the window. Like it's goddamn 1992 and we have 128 kilobytes of RAM. All right. For shits and giggles, let's take a look at the competition. Here's the music app built in by Apple. Now, also not a great app, if you ask my opinion, lots of reasons. But let's just see. Let's launch it, see what happens. Boom. Under a second, we have all of our UI. We didn't see any gray placeholder boxes. We weren't staring at an empty white rectangle. And, you know, let's get some uh, album art on the screen here. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll just resize the window. Look at this. It's like our computer is from 2021 and has gigahertz over gigahertz of drawing power at its disposal. So if you are going to release an Electron app, I have just one question for you. Could you not?